Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer and this reading here now is for Cancer. Welcome Cancer. The first card is from the Dungeons and Dragons tarot deck which was based on what the creators of the computer game called Dungeons and Dragons. And today many play computer games. I'm not one of them, but I know people who like to play them. So maybe that deck brings you some joy. So the card for cancer from the deck is the four of intelligence and the message is you need to take time to meditate before moving forward by making sure that you are not avoiding any action and the special message is that the next short rest you take acts as a long rest instead Second card is the Emperor and the Emperor is the father figure, is an organization, is ambition, authority and courage. On the card this Emperor is sitting on Mars, the planet of action, his hair and beard are white representing his profound wisdom with age and a ram stands proud behind him as the symbol of courage as the constellation of Aries shines above them. So this emperor is fair-minded and strong and has strategic intelligence. The emperor represents authority and is a fair father. He rewards hard work. This could be through a promotion within work or an increase in finances or an agreement to a new project. He could also represent a male influence during a reading. He signifies that all disputes can be resolved and he is a supporter. So this card shows you that you have the trust, reliability and companionship of others and yourself. If this card appears in your reading, it means making the right decision. There is a star message. It is time to take charge, to lead and assert your authority and focus on getting organized at work and at home. Say this moon magic affirmation. I am putting boundaries in place. Next card is the Ace of fire it is spirit powered action inspired transformation and access to co-creative power say this when i feel my connection to spirit i see unlimited potential for transformation there is no reason to fear because I am supported fully in imagining something new and daring to take and make it happen. This is a time to dream big. I can be bold and free because spirit inspires me to turn my dreams into reality. Next card is Love Begins. Your cup is about to overflow with joy. 
happiness and positive feelings. This is the first of the emotions cards and therefore it signifies that a new love opportunity is about to come. This doesn't necessarily have to be physical love, but could also represent a passion and devotion for an idea or a goal or even a new creative endeavor. This would be a perfect time to open yourself and your heart to the higher vibrations and loving energy of the universe. When past issues are resolved, when forgiveness for others as well as yourself has been attained and when your heart is truly open and ready to receive, then new roads leading you toward love will be revealed. And the new deck that is called the Heart Pass Oracle deck gave you the card called Journey to the Miraculous. And it's about new opportunities awaiting you. The card that you have selected is set in an airport lobby. In the background are revolving doors that lead us in and out of the picture. On the left is an Australian possum holding a mirror and on the right is a badger's head serving as a platform for an inquisitive kitten. The mirror reflects a blue rose and cloud-filled sky. Walking around the rim of the mirror are 12 ladybugs and on its handle are three ants. And outside in the nighttime sky is the planet Saturn and its largest moon called Titan. An airplane is heading in the direction of the planet. Your message is that the sensitive possum is looking right at you, vying for your attention. It wants you to notice that regardless of what has happened in the past, things may actually be better better than you than you think or they seem. Your talents they will be noticed by others, some in positions of authority. The blue rose in the possum's mirror lets you know that miracles are happening, but miracles are not an event. They are a state of mind. Badger symbolism is about following your dreams and never giving up. Although it is important to be open to what others say, it is more important to listen to your own intuition and then do it your way. The cat recommends staying grounded and being in the present moment. So do not let your mind wander to the past or future. It is in the here and the now that you can make things happen. The cat also advises you to get plenty of rest. Lack of sleep will disempower you. When you are sleep deprived, your healing abilities, alertness, and cognitive performance decrease. You shift into other brain waves that are fine to be in when you want to slow down and relax, but not when you want to get things done. And you have a lot to get done. Ladybugs and ants deliver faith, good luck, and the discipline 
that you need to succeed. So you are here on earth at this moment to help bring loving change, step into the revolving doors and exit into a world of new possibilities, love and feeling a part of something wonderful. Your dreams are awaiting you. Discipline and patience will help you stick to your flight plan and arrive at your destination. That are the stars. See this affirmation. I am always in the right place at the right time. And the last card is on top of the Hard Path Oracle card and out came Lord. And the Lord says, take charge with authority. Do not be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Just be strong. The Lord is the consort of the lady the emperor in the traditional tarot deck. He represents an authoritative male who is not afraid to lay down the law. But this doesn't mean he is angry or chauvinistic. He is self-possessed, reliable and ambitious, a man of honor who has earned his place in society. The Lord in this oracle holds a ram staff and wears a crown of antlers, showing he keeps himself firmly rooted in the crown and is protective of his people. His regal air indicates he has a taste for the finer things in life, yet he is sensitive to those who are less fortunate than he is. There is an extended message. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. If you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted, it is time to change that. There is no excuse for bad behavior and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your crown and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way. You have the energy and might to overcome traumas or energies that are not working for your crows and it is time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you do not want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed around. So this card also brings the energy of ambition and can show you have the potential to move upwards on a professional level, but only if you act with authority and show others who you really are. That was the reading for you, Cancer. Thanks for listening. I do wish you a wonderful whole week. Take care and goodbye.